right. Woo! That bottom end grunt. I was getting ready to put this MTL7 up for sale simply because I want to get a new motorcycle and I don't have room in the garage um, because I, I absolutely love this MTL7 and you know I get a new motorcycle every year um, just to share with the channel get add new content I've done a ton of videos on the MTL7 um, but honestly I really love this bike but I contemplated on buying maybe a new Harley Davidson because I've tra talked trash about them in the past or getting that new Ducati Diablo V4 is pretty sick. Just thinking about getting a cruiser, but at the same time, I'm like, why get a cruiser when naked motorcycles are better? <laughs> but you know what? That kind of begs the question. Cruisers versus naked motorcycles. Uh, which are really better? Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. I have experience on, on both cruisers and, of course, naked motorcycles. I own a naked motorcycle now. But I also owned a cruiser motorcycle in that Ducati X Diablo S that I owned. It was absolutely epic. I loved it. I would, that blew my mind. A torque. <laughs> That a cruiser could be that fun. That's why I thought about getting this new Ducati uh, Diablo V4 cruiser. Because I know how sick that X Diablo was. They're not even making the X Diablo anymore. This Diablo V4 is replacing the X Diablo. But then I was thinking. I was like, you know what, man? Cruiser or a naked motorcycle? You know, which should I get? And I know some of you guys have that same dilemma. Before I get into this and I tell you which one is really, truly better and why is make sure you're wearing the gear to stay safe out there on the streets man because there's so many riders that are getting killed out here i'm telling you guys i have links to all my gear my awesome gear like this airbag vest that i never leave home without my ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tint shield shorty glove ce armor jacket boots links to all my gear in the description and comment section of this video yeah then to me this sounds like a harley man a little bit like at the lower revs. Uh, I call it my Yamaha Davidson, man. <laughs> and it's got that torque like a Harley Davidson. Oh, that bottom end grunt. That's why I love this bike, because it's the grunt. Ugh, it just feels strong off the bottom. And that's what you want for the street out here, you know what I'm saying? That's why people get cruisers. You know, that's why people love the Harleys because they're tuned with grunt at the bottom where you're doing stoplight to stoplight riding you know what i'm saying and cruising in the city and uh ah oh, it just feels so good you know but harley davis's are so expensive man cruisers generally unless they're japanese cruisers they tend to be more expensive you know um and you know that ducati v4 that you know that Ducati Diablo V4 that I was gonna get, you know that thing sitting there probably would tax everything out the door. You're looking close to like thirty thousand dollars. That you know that that's like three of these MTO sevens. <laughs> that's crazy, man. Or Harley Davidson. You get a Vance and Hines. You get it fixed up. You're out the door probably twenty five, thirty thousand dollars, depending on what bike you get. Um. So, but it makes you it begs the question. You know, why get a cruiser when you can get a naked bike and cruise on it? Well, first off, cruisers tend to be more comfortable because of the peg placement, okay? The pegs on these naked bikes can be just like on the Super Sports. They can be high and back, so it's you, you get more knee bend. Now, some of them, like this bike, has more of a mid peg, um, but it's some people a lot of people they like forward pegs you know so putting your feet forward like this to me i hate that I, that's one reason why i got rid of that ducati x diablo was because of the feet you know what i'm saying i felt vulnerable like my feet up like this like i was sitting in an easy chair or something man i hated that film but there's riders out there that absolutely love that and that they hate you know mid pegs because of the knee bend or whatnot so really it comes down to your comfort um but i tell you the mtl7 is very very comfortable with the pegs you know what i'm saying the mtl9 that i own the pegs were 
I get pretty comfortable. It's okay, but it just seems this bike is just so much more comfortable than the, the MTL9. And that Aprilia Tuano V4 1100 factory naked motorcycle that I own, man, your knee, it was just like you're on a super bike. Your legs are up and back, you know, very uncomfortable, and you're in like in a semi aggressive riding position. So, you know, a lot of these naked bikes, it just depends on the naked bike. Some of them are more comfortable than others, but overall, naked bikes really provide more value because they're more versatile. You know, you can take them to the track and have fun on them. You know what I'm saying? A cruiser, you're not going to want to take to the track. They're too bulky, heavy, and cumbersome. You know, cruisers tend to be weigh a lot more, you know. And, uh, and you feel that weight when you're trying to throw the bike around. Some of them, like that Ducati X Diablo that I own, though, that thing carried its weight very well, man. That thing just, man, it handled the corners, no problems. I didn't really pay attention to the weight at all on that bike, surprisingly. And I hear the same can be said about the new Diablo V4 and also the Triumph uh, uh, Rocket 3. They say that carries at 600 and something pounds very well. Um, so they're making these cruisers actually perform better where you don't feel the weight as much. And out here on the street, though, weight is not that big of a difference. But like I said, how do you just justify spending that much of a morning on a cruiser when all you can do is just cruise out here? You're not going to take it to the track. Now, I know you. some people like me never go to the track, so that's not a concern. But it's just something about a lightweight bike like this. It just feels like you you feel at one with the bike. It's like you're floating in the air. Like you, you, you know what I'm saying? It's just, I, I don't know. It's just how I feel. That's my perception. But like I said, honestly, I can't justify spending extra money on these cruisers, man. These a Harley or the Ducati. So I, I don't know, dude. Uh, leave a comment below. What do you prefer, the cruiser or a naked motorcycle? Some of you guys have never even rode a naked motorcycle. Some of you guys are just only ride Harleys. Some of you guys are Harley snobs. You know what I'm saying? A Harley or nothing or you're on crap or something. You know, I think it's ridiculous. I hate to hear elitists talk, oh, Harleys are the best and all the other motorcycles suck. I hate to hear riders say that, man. Just, I just laugh because I'm like, dude. Go try some other bikes. You'll be surprised. <laughs> There's a lot much better bikes out there than some of the Harleys out there. Now, I'm not hating on the Harleys. Totally hating on the Harleys. Like I said, they're tuned with that grunt on the bottom. They look beautiful. Everybody loves them. Chicks love them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, you know, it's a lot of positive things going for the Harley Davidson. But honestly, naked motorcycle guys i'm really having a hard time justifying buying any other motorcycle my mtl7 fits the bill man and i got my supermoto that's my number one and this is my number two the only reason i'm thinking about selling this bike is only for you guys for the channel and getting a new bike um and i don't want to i don't want to have you know I, I already i don't have much space in the garage guys to be adding i know you guys said sell them e-bikes and e-scooters and your golf cart and stuff but honestly guys that stuff is just like extra entertainment for me man you know what i'm saying i like to mix it up and uh and just do have fun with everything that's what i'm all about man you know what i'm saying but i'm just having a tough time figuring out another motorcycle because a lot of you guys are telling me get the ktm 890 cycle cruiser that is the most epic you know, mid-range bike out there on the streets guys you got to get it cycle cruiser what's up i don't really fully trust ktm man. and this stuff's pretty expensive guys i i don't know i just i don't know i just had have had a bad experience trying to buy a ktm and it's just and i don't know i don't really particularly care for the looks that much you know um, but I hear that bike's nice and torquey. Um, it, it gets rave reviews. But I just can't. I, I don't know, man. What, what does that bike have? Like, what am I going to do on a KTM 890 that I'm not doing already on the Intel 7? Seriously. At the speeds that I'm doing right here, guys. It's all about the bottom end grunt to me. And this, it really, this is perfect for me, man. Listen to that sound, baby. 
the KTM 890 doesn't sound any better you know it may have a little bit a bit more power but it really like I said I just can't justify getting any other bike really man I don't know what to do guys I've been on YouTube for over 11 years I've had over like 12 different bikes man over the years and um, I've been there and done that with all the different types of bikes and stuff and honestly I just kind of settled on the supermoto in this really I just I'd like to get new bikes and provide new content but unfortunately I can't get a deal with dealerships like some of these these moto vloggers do I can't get test rides out here I, I don't know what's up with that but what can I do I'd like to rent that I mean I can rent a Harley that's about all you can do out here as far as rentals um, I may rent a Harley just to do it but I'd like to rent other bikes I'd like to try other bikes but anyways for those of you guys that have some different bikes and you want to swap bikes with me and uh, let me test ride your bike and I'll let you test ride mine maybe we can do something like that you know what I'm saying hit me up in the comments and let me know if that's something you want to do but I know some of you guys are real funny about your motorcycle you don't like nobody else riding it and I feel you because I was the same way but I'm at a point now that I just don't care I just I, whatever man hit thumbs up hit the subscribe button hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when my new videos come out but I release new videos every Sunday Tuesday and Thursday at 11 30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time till next time check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.